Good afternoon, everyone. Today I wanted to talk about the snowstorms in Vietnam. Yes, I did say Vietnam. That's at 22 degrees north off of the equator, as well as Tropical Storm Mekla, five months ahead of the normal formation patterns for tropical systems in the Western Pacific. For those of you unfamiliar with Southeast Asia, it is one of the hottest, the most humid places on the planet. This is a map of Vietnam. The black box indicates where the snowfall was. Here's a few images to roll through. They received approximately 20 centimeters of snow. The effects were snarled traffic, destruction of different food crops as well as the amazement of the local people coming up to take photos of something they rarely ever see. The local population was warned in advance to wear more clothing. Different aid groups were distributing clothing to the locals that are unused to this type of cold temperature, the local hill tribes that inhabit the area. Something you need to take notice of, there was snow in December of 2014 as well. As you see across the rice terraces there, the snowfall, the depths were also approximately 15 to 20 centimeters in 2014. It snowed in 2013 in December, but the snowfall amount was far less. It was only a couple of centimeters. But these three snowfall years hadn't seen anything since the 1950s like it. And even in the 1950s, there were just flurries. So we come up now to this era where the forecast solar minimum is beginning. And in the Vietnam highlands, around 4,000 feet, there's snowfall for three years in a row. But in the previous hundred, it only flurried a few times. Now there's significant snowfall accumulations year after year. There's been snowfalls in the deserts of Saudi Arabia, snowfalls in the Sahara Desert in Tunisia this year a few weeks back. The signs are all around us that something is changing. I particularly like this photo. Snow in the rice fields. You just don't see that every day. That's not normal. When you see that, that is nature saying, wake up up something is changing talking about interesting changes typhoon is forming off of the philippines right now this is tropical storm mekla and the rarity of this event shake you a little bit and say wake up typhoons don't come in january february march april and they barely form in may but this is the first system of the year already in january this is two significant events happening in Southeast Asia in warm areas of the planet. Picture of the MSAT 2 last week. If you look far to the east of the Philippines, you can see where the tropical formation was taking place. This cloud layer between the north and south hemisphere, approximately 15 degrees north and south, it's a bit skewed from what's the normal over the last few years. There's a lot more water condensation in these areas right now, like in a humidifier. The solar output of our star, called the sun, is forecast to decrease significantly over the next solar cycle. We're currently in solar cycle number 24, but solar cycle 25 is going to be about half of what we are currently, which will push us back into 400-year cold temperatures that were experienced in the modern minimum in the 1600s with the same amount of decreased solar activity. I encourage you to do some of your own research on this. The actual search terms you want to use are solar hibernation, reduced total solar irradiance, as well as the Maunder Minimum, the Dalton Minimum, and Dr. John Casey. This will give you a good start. Thanks for watching. These snows in Vietnam are definitely a wake-up call. This is the most unusual thing that I have come across in the last 40 videos that I've done about cold weather events.